Why do you code? For instance, if you're trying to understand what a forest is, the coding work is done at the most minute scale. What is going on at the grass level, within the reeds, within the trees? You're using that then. Your cumulative work at the coding level is to be able to move up to 30,000 feet to theoretical work to say, this is a forest. So you might be able to move at the coding levels to say, this is grass, this is a tree, this is a plant, this is, you're moving up and up and up. This is flora, this is fauna and then, then you are defining a forest from that. So the coding work is work that you do at a very small scale, but the aggregate of that work is to develop an understanding of how these codes work together to inform theory about a broader question. So you're moving from textual, small, minute level to categorical frameworks and then to theoretical interventions in your work. So for instance, you don't even have to know what's happening in that text here to see what's happening with respect to the anal analytical process. So you have a set of texts, you have one paragraph where somebody's explaining something about their life, and along the side might make notes about what's happening. Those notes are codes, so that when you come back to look at that page again, whether you're looking at that actual document, physical document, or an electronic document, you don't have to read every single tiny thing. You can just look at your codes along the side to get an idea, a summative understanding of what's going on. That's the first process of coding. From there, you're thinking about how those codes relate to one another. So some of those codes are in and of themselves sufficiently summative to understand your research question that it becomes its own category or theoretical intervention. Others might be related to one another, and then you will collapse them together into a single category. So for instance, you might realize that you've coded um, a set of text as happy, sad, disgruntled, and you realize that in and of themselves, they're too specific, but as a group, the code emotion or the category emotion is a more useful category to summarize each one of those codes. So you're moving from codes, which are textual level or smaller level pieces of information, to categories where they fit into one another. And then from those categories, you're developing an idea of, here's a theoretical intervention I want to make, given my text, here are the understandings that I have, the explanations I have of a particular phenomenon, or given these um, visual representations of a particular phenomenon, here are my explanations. I've moved from thorough coding at the textual level to broader understandings and explanations of what's going on. Thinking always with similarity, difference, sequencing, and frequency. Those tend to be some of the key ways of thinking about how codes and categories relate to one another.